Hey there, it's Matt Remarino just coming to you with a quick video. I was going to do a Facebook Live, but I can't get any signal, so I'm going to post this um, as soon as I've uh, shot it. Look, um, obviously we've all had the Olympics just recently, and I just wanted to share some interesting facts um, about the uh, Team GB. Obviously we've had a record, um, a record Olympics, um, overhauled more medals this year than we did uh, in our home Olympics which is an incredible achievement and that's another reason why I want to share this because I hope it's given everyone not just people in home business but everyone a bit of inspiration a bit of motivation to actually realize you can achieve something in your life and so I've just got here um, I should probably do it as a, um, a, a longer post with the video but I've just written here what you can learn from the Olympics one, it takes a decision to go for gold. So you've got to decide that that's what you really want. It will take sacrifice to achieve that goal. To go and get that gold is going to create a massive amount of sacrifice. Okay, and that's, uh, you know, you hear their stories, you know. You're going to require a great coach, you need a great support circle, and you must believe you can win. You see, it's no difference in pursuit of your dreams okay you need all those things you need to make a decision be willing to make a sacrifice find a good mentor or coach have support around you and you must believe that you can achieve it so some facts about team GB we sent 366 athletes or we went for 300, yeah, 366 athletes. Each and every one of them, okay, has a story of years of hard work, endurance, pain, anguish, suffering, heartache, and that's just in the training sessions and the build-up events at home, leading up to their biggest moments in their lives. Yet. They do this knowing that the percentage chance of them actually achieving medal glory is so very slim. Yet, yet, they go through it all for that one chance of glory and to forever have an impact in their profession for future generations to look up to and duplicate and model them. One chance. And we saw that with Mo Farah, 10,000 meters. His chance to go on to do the double-double. He was tripped or he tripped, yet he got up and he went on to win that race. Because he knew, and if you listen to his interview afterwards and how emotional he was, that was his one chance. He thought his one moment, his one chance had gone. But he got up and he fought back and he ran and he won. You see, each of those 366 athletes have had their naysayers, doubters, negative people trying to pull them back down to mediocrity and a life of averageness. Okay, just like we have in our own personal lives. We have those that tell us to stay where we are, don't try and step out because you're not going to make it. At the same time, they have those that back them 100%, that see them for their potential. They feel the emotion and passion from those people and they inspire them to be able to follow, support them and do all that they can to achieve for their very best and be the very best they can be. So I ask you, I ask you, what do you really want out of life? Do you seriously just want to get up in the morning, go to your work, come home at the end of the day, tired, bored, unfulfilled, to spend a few spare moments with your children, maybe, if you have any, or with your partner, or with your friends, or with your family. Go to sleep, get up, and literally repeat that. Or, do you feel that there's an inkling, a stirring deep within, that just says to you, there's something more out there. Life is more valuable, better than what you're living right now. Because if it is the latter, 
then you can do something about it. Go back and watch some of the interviews from those 366 athletes from Great Britain and listen to their stories, what they did to achieve and get to where they got to. And if you're sitting there saying, yeah, yeah, I know that, but they had this, they had that. No, they didn't to start with. What they had to start with was a little seed, a tiny little seed in their mind and in their heart that said, you can do that. You enjoy it. You're passionate about it. Go do it. Build on it. Increase your skills on it. Not your talent, but your skill. I hope that's helped. Because it doesn't matter whether it's home business, whether it's a career in a job, whether you're studying for law or for medicine or for anything, and you're finding it tough and you just think to yourself, you know what, I'm just going to go and get myself a job down at the local supermarket or down the local shop full time and, and just not bother because it's just too hard. Well, how many days do you think that our athletes spent out in the wind, the rain, the cold, training, feeling like they just want to give in, give up, go home to the warmth of their family, knowing that they'll be supported either way, no matter what they choose. Did they? Did they go home? Or did they carry on their training, see it through, and become the hero and heroines that they did, that they have become? And even those that didn't win medals, they've gone home with a sense of pride to be a part of a team that has over-succeeded that has overachieved, that has beaten their goals and their targets that were set and know that they stand a good chance if they are young enough to go on to the next four years for the next opportunity. Some, if not all, will actually be able to go and run and compete in the World Championships, I believe, in London next year always setting the goal for the next time. Listen to those that did win medals, that were young enough. In fact, to those that are old enough, they're talking about their next steps. I'm gonna go away from here and I'm gonna think and, and decide what I want to do next. See, they're already thinking, they're already moving forward. They're not going, you know what, I'm just gonna sit here, save in the moment and enjoy it and not worry about anything. They all talked of their plans of how they're gonna either come back into their eventing, into their training, back into the gym, or back to their homes to retire because they've come of an age where they've achieved all they've wanted to achieve. You choose. This is rattling on for over eight minutes. But the formula you need to be able to succeed, to go for what you want, that's make a decision to decide that you want to go for it. Be willing to make the sacrifices that you are needed to make to be able to achieve that dream, that desire, that goal. Find yourself a great coach or a mentor or someone that's already achieved what you want to achieve or has experience and has success in that field so they can help you move in that direction. Make sure you've got the support of people around you. Look at the top five people that you are around. Are those people gonna be giving you that support? Or are they going to be the naysayers, the negative people that are going to try and pull you back and stop you from achieving what you truly want to achieve? And have that desire and faith in your heart and in your mind and know and believe that you will win. You will achieve. You will complete your goal. You will get there. And I'm going to add a sixth one on right now. That's never quit. Once you've made that decision to achieve it, never quit, never give up. You may fail. Look at the Olympians that have come to the Olympics in the past, haven't achieved, but have come back and then did win medals, did achieve. Look at those new Olympians that came to these Olympics in 2016 that have already said that they will be back next time in 2020 to achieve what they missed out on this time. You see, they're not willing to quit. 
They're not willing to give up. They're going, I'm going to carry on. So make today count. If you want help with making a decision, contact me directly. This is either going to be on a blog where you can contact me directly, obviously via my contact page, or if it's on Facebook, you can obviously send me a private message, likewise on Twitter. If it's on Twitter, I suggest you do click through to the blog and contact me there. Um, as we all know, direct messages on Twitter aren't the greatest way to contact people or at reply me um, and tag me. So at least then I'm aware that you want my attention. I'll be more than happy to help you identify your goal, achieve your goals and move you forward without ever having to quit again. Make today count. I look forward to speaking to you soon.